in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this highlight effect in PowerPoint all the way from scratch and you can use it to showcase your team members. So as soon as you click the highlight will shift on a different member and new text will appear. So you can repeat this for however many products or people that you have in your design. And all the way at the end you can just go back to the full overview and have a really cool team presentation. This tutorial I've split up into two parts. In the first part we will look at the creation of the slides and the animations and then secondly we will look at the content so adding the names and the text to the slide. And if you want to save a lot of time and effort while making presentations I also have templates available that you can download via the link in the description below and they will save you a lot of time and effort in your next project. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now first we want to add the image to the slide. You can choose whichever image that you like. Then paste it on the screen and make sure that it fills the entire screen. Next we're going to the shapes tab and select the donut shape. We drag on the screen while holding shift to create an equal size donut. And then we have this little anchor here, a yellow dot, that we can increase or decrease the opening of the donut with. We want to make sure that we don't have an outline on this and we want to make it dark. I'm not using entirely black, but I'm using one of the black tones. So it's slightly off black. Let's maybe go for one lighter, this one. Right click, format shape, and we go to the fill options. And here we set the fill to transparent, just a few percent. Let's do seven or eight percent. And now we go down here and use this toggle switch. You can drag it left to zoom out, or you can always use the control key and then scroll forward or backward to zoom in or out on your slide. Now we're going to increase it in size, so I'll hold the shift key and you see it scales to one side. If you now hold the control key, you can scale it from the center, which is quite nice. Then I'm going to adjust the circle of the donut so that the picture is entirely visible. Now we're going to right click and duplicate the slide. And on the second page, I want to select the donut and make the inner circle a lot smaller so it focuses on one character. Then you can adjust so that it nicely fits around that person or that object, and you can always zoom in if you want. Now I'm going to the shape step, and here I want to go for the trapezium shape. Select that one and drag it on your slide. I'm making it quite small, so large, but the width we want to keep it minimal. Drag it with the handle so that it comes from the bottom. And then we want to make sure that it's aligned with both edges of that circle on the widest part. It doesn't have to be perfect, just about right is good enough. Right click, format shape on that trapezium, and we want to give it a gradient fill. I want to remove the different stops and just keep two white ones. Maybe let's select this one to a orange color so we can easily see which one is which. We want to set it to linear, and then we can do it from the bottom. So make sure that it's a straight line. So either it's on the top or at the bottom and that we don't rotate it so it doesn't come from the side, for example. So we want to make sure that we select one of those where it comes from the top or bottom. Now we know that the right side is the orange one, the top one. So we set this to white and increase the transparency to 100%. And this sort of gives us that highlight effect or that light effect. If we deselect, we can see there's still an outline. So we select it, go to the line, and then click on no outline. And this is the effect that we want to create, that we have this highlight view. If you preview it here on the left, it already looks quite nice. I'm just going to readjust it a bit so that the entire character is visible. There we go. And then adjust the highlight with it. So that is quite good. We can close this tab, scroll backward if you want. And we're going to right click, duplicate again. And then on the second tab, we want to adjust it so that it moves to a different character. And we can reduce the crop size so it matches around that specific character. Same with the highlight. We can make it just a bit smaller. And what I like to do is I like to rotate it. So it always sort of comes from the center, just like this. And here on the right, on the left side, we can see the preview. So that's quite good. And we just duplicate this until we go through the characters that we want to show. You can always make it larger or a bit smaller. It really depends on how you want to put the focus. And then adjust the highlight section. Here again, we swap it from left to right. That will give a good effect. You can always use the shortcut Ctrl D to duplicate the slide. Maybe one more on the right side here. 
we adjust it accordingly. You can always turn it a little bit more for that extra emphasis. And then a final time. And here I can see I'm missing a part. So I'm uncovering a part. We don't want that. So you can always scroll backwards and just increase the size. Make sure you hold shift so you select it or so it scales proportionally until everything is nicely covered. Just like this. And then adjust the highlight, of course. Let's remove this one and duplicate again. And then go to the small guy on top. Again, rotate the highlight, make it a bit less wide, and then extend it to the bottom. And as a final touch, I want to duplicate one final time, delete the highlight, and then increase the cropped circle again. Make sure it goes around the entire image so we have everyone in view. Now, if we look, we want to have the highlight on the first slide as well. So I'm going to copy it, paste it on the first slide, and maybe slightly turn it and drag it off the screen. Now, if we select all the different slides, select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, go to transitions and apply morph. And if we already preview this part, let's do that. We can see that we have the nice opening picture. And as soon as we click, the fade will come in and the highlight will appear. And as soon as we click once more, we can see that this highlight really shifts and the light stroke also follows along. So it's a really cool effect that you can create in PowerPoint using this simple morph technique to highlight some images. And at the end, it goes to the full screen again. Now let's look at the second part, which is adding the text. And for that, I'm going to the first slide, go to insert, text box, and drag it on the screen. Here I want to give the name. Let's say it's minion, it's called Dave. Give it a nice font. I'm using Avenir Next. Make it white. And let's go for a sub font, which is that heavy. Make it a bit larger. And then you can position it on whichever side you like. Drag a text box below. And here I'm going to put in some text from the character. Keep text only. Make it white. Let's give it the same font, but a lighter version. So that's it nicely matches with the rest, maybe a bit smaller, and put it nicely to the side. Let's do it like this, give it some more space, that we have a nicely balanced slide. I'm going to copy this to the next slides, and you can always position it on a different corner. And then we're going to change the name, Tim. And also here we're going to paste in the text, and just copy that through the entire slides. Position it on a different angle. And just paste the text in there. Keep text only to keep the same formatting. And repeat for the others. I kind of like to give it a different position every time. So there's something new to look at and it doesn't look all too standard and the same. So it's nice to have it positioned in different corners. And then one final time for this one here, maybe at the top again, or on the other side. And this is Bob. Paste in the text, keep text only. There we go. And now let's have a look at the entire presentation. And this is how you can make this really cool animation, whereas if you click, you highlight a specific character in your presentation. Click again, and you'll get more information and your highlight will shift to that person. You can repeat this for however many steps you have, and it's a really cool dynamic way to showcase maybe team members or some products in your presentation. At the end of the slide, you can always expand it to the full picture again and do something extra with your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.